Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at truth or dare confessions. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. As kids, my cousin dared me to go pick up a rock he threw into the lake. Neither of us knew how to swim yet. It didn't end well. I was lucky to survive after having been rescued by a teen passing by. Kids are dumb. <laughs> Please do not dare someone to go swim if you don't know whether they can swim or not. Yesterday, I came home from work and was sitting on the couch with my wife. I noticed the corner of her phone screen was cracked. I asked what happened. She said, Ted dared me to bite it really hard. Ted is my eight-year-old son. My wife bit her phone until it broke because her eight-year-old son dared her to. I'm now questioning all of my choices in life. <laughs> that sounds kind of wholesome though. The fact that she just went along with the dare because she knows it's a dare. What kind of teeth does this woman have though? She cracked her phone screen? Had to let a friend sit on my head for two minutes. Oh, sit on the head, right? Okay, let's just assume it's sit on top of their head. <sighs> I moved back home after two years of college in another city and started going to a school with a bunch of friends and others from my high school. And at the first party, we were playing sociables. Before I moved away, I was a bit overweight and ashamed of my body, but in the two years away from home, I had worked out and got pretty jacked. At this party, I was wearing a very baggy shirt. The crowd was mostly people I hadn't seen in a while. Plus, this girl I was interested in and a very good friend of mine, who I knew I was into her and knew that I had got into good shape. He pulled the dare card and dared us to switch clothes. I'm six foot six and she's five foot eight and we had to swap shirts and pants. I had a baggy shirt and jeans on. She was in a crop top and shorts. We swapped. Everyone started to notice that I was a lot more jacked than before and she kept staring. When the game was done, she wouldn't let me switch back into my clothes, saying that she liked how they fit me. We went home together that night, started dating and are now married and expecting a first child. <gasps> what a great friend. <laughs> the friend who dared him to do that because he knew he was jacked, you know? And he was just like, show them your good body. Whew, that's cute, wholesome. I thought these were gonna be like sad dares or like ridiculous dares, but I like this one. This is so cute. Had to strip naked and stay that way for two minutes in front of people. I took truth after that for the rest of the game. Everybody else's dares were eat a hot pepper or sing a song in a weird voice. What the hell? Two minutes is a lot longer than you think. <laughs> Everyone else's dares were so basic, you know? Eat a hot pepper. I eat that every single day by myself. <laughs> they totally picked on him. That's not fair. Had to run naked down a residential street. Luckily, it was dark and late at night, so I don't think anyone but my friends saw me. <laughs> Why is being naked always a dare, you know? Like, why? <laughs> Dare to date a girl for a month. We dated for a year. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. These dares are kind of weird, though. Because wouldn't that mean you're just playing with their feelings? Like, you're just dating them, not because you like them, but because you got dared to? Isn't that... Isn't that bad? I wouldn't want someone to date me because their friends dared them to date me. That's, that's, that's sad. I think if I found out, I would be sad. Because then I'd be like, what's the truth? And what's the lie? Were you laughing because you were happy with me? Or was that also just a dare? Yo, I would have trust issues after this. In fifth grade, at a birthday party, we all played truth or dare. My friend knew I had a crush on this girl, so he dared me to kiss her. She said, I'm sorry, I'll hug you, but I want my first kiss to be with someone I like. Oh. <laughs> hey, good on her, honestly. Good on her for sticking with her decision. My crush got dared to kiss the person who he was most attracted to, and so I got my first full-on public kiss at the time. Well, that ended well. <laughs> It was during a game of truth or dare that a group of us were participating in by choice. Everyone was the same age. I got dared to flash my crush when I was in 8th grade. The bitchy girl that dared me didn't think I would go through with it. It worked out okay because up until that point there was a rumour going around that I stuffed my bra. Those rumours were squashed real quick. Wow. Whoa. 
A friend at sixth form college, so aged 16, was dared by a classmate to drink the whole of the communal bottle of vinegar that was on the cafeteria table. Maybe 300 milliliters. He did it. He was off college for a week with, predictably enough, the kind of intestinal issues you would get from chugging acid. Why would you dare someone to drink vinegar? I hate dares where someone is just daring someone else to, like, damage their health, you know? Like, huh? I saw a man tackle a sheep naked on a dare in high school. (laughs) The poor sheep, don't do that to the sheep. Was playing with my friends and my crush was there too. My friend dared me not to play with them. Never gonna forget that. So what happened? I peed in the litter box in our basement. My mum thought the cat had a serious issue because it filled the whole box. My brother ratted on me and my mum played me by saying she was going to have to put the cat down because of a bladder issue. I cried and told her the truth. (gasps) Well then, that escalated quick. The last time I played was in middle school and one of my friends dared me to get a hug from a girl in our group. They all ran away. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. What is that? I dare you to ask one of us for a hug. Run! Normally dare someone to order me some pizza and sides and pay for it all. This is the kind of day I would do too. <laughs> Just get me some food. Okay, you don't have to embarrass yourself. Just get me some food. <laughs> But I feel like I'd just pay them back after the day is done. You know, if they actually do the day, then I'm like, you're the man. Or you, (laughs) I'd be like, okay, here's your money back. Just kidding. Ate a pencil. Someone dared them to eat a pencil? (laughs) These dares are weird. Had to run three kilometers while went along in my car, giving me a beer to drink. Almost collapsed and had to stop to piss a lot. Wow. So they're just like running drunk or something? Once I was dared to hook up with a stranger that I'd met like 20 minutes prior at a small gathering. I accepted. She accepted. Still the best game of truth or day I ever played. Well that went well. Everyone was happy and that's what's important. Bold of you to assume I have friends to play truth or dare with me. (laughs) Honestly, I've never really played truth or dare like this before. You know? And we don't really play truth or dare that often in high school. So I'm just finding all of these so wild because I'm just an innocent potato stuck in my little bubble. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.